Now let's look at the molecular model of an ideal gas. So if you imagine you've got a box that's full of a bunch of molecules. These molecules are going to be moving randomly around like that. And when they bounce off the sides of this box, they're going to exert a force. And that force exerted on that um, over that area of the box, area of the side of the box, is something we call a pressure. And there's a relationship between the pressure exerted by the molecules, the volume of the box, and the temperature that this box happens to be at. And that relationship is the ideal gas law. And we can write that um, proportionally to the number of molecules times Boltzmann's constant times T, where K is Boltzmann's constant. Or um, we can write that in terms of, of the number of moles, which you might see in chemistry more often. Um, and that's just taking this relationship here and rewriting it by saying, well, the number of moles is the number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number. I'm going to multiply that by Avogadro's number, so I'm effectively just multiplying by 1 kT. So I just put in a Na over Na there. This is the number of moles n. We're going to redefine this as a new constant called R, and you may have seen this in your chemistry classes. PV is equal to nRT. The relationship between um, the molar gas constant and Boltzmann's gas constant. So what this relationship says is that if we keep the temperature of the gas constant, if we raise the pressure, the volume has to go down, right? So pressurizing a gas is going to compress it. Um, if we expand a gas, keeping the temperature the same, the pressure has to go down. So there's an inverse relationship between uh, pressure and volume in that sense. It also allows us to compute um, what this pressure and volume relationship is. So for example, if I had uh, one mole of air, which is an Avogadro's number of molecules, so 6 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So this is a little n equals 1, or a big n equals 6 times 10 to the 23. And I'm at uh, room temperature. We'll just call that 300 degrees Kelvin. And room pressure, we'll call that 1 Pascal, which is 1 times 10 to the 5. Uh, sorry, 1 atmosphere, which is 1 times 10 to the 5 Pascals. The question is, well, what is the volume of air at that uh, pressure and temperature? So we can use the ideal gas law to do that. PV is equal to nRT. If I solve for the volume, I get nRT over P. Or I could get nKT over P. Same thing. Uh, just put in different, uh, use n here in k instead of little n and r. But if I do that, then I get something like um, 1 mole times the gas constant, which is 8.3 times 300. And I have to use that in Kelvin to make the units work. And I multiply, divide that by uh, 1.0 times 10 to the 5. And if I do that, that's about 2,400. And so I wind up getting uh, 2.4 times 10 to the minus 2 cubic meters, which is about 24 liters. That also uh, is a box uh, about 30 centimeters on a side. So that's about that big.